And since we brought up Pi, should we do Pi? Let's do Pi, gang. Pi from 1988, from one classic, They Live, from 1988. We jump to another cult classic, Pi, from 1998. From 1990, I knew Elder God was gonna hate this movie. Elder God, you hated this movie, did you not? You must have hated this movie, right? You must have hated it. You must have hated it. <laughs> Goofy says, Pi is 10 out of 10. Patterns everywhere, patterns everywhere, patterns everywhere. And it's all connected up to Pi. And if you follow economics, Martin Armstrong, his whole model, he's got. A lot of things associated with the business cycle that follow pi and as a mathematician pi is phenomenal you know that's probably one reason they focused on this movie calling it pi right uh, goofy the subway scene is creepy as fuck yeah 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 it one thing you know what i liked it better the first and the second time i saw it this time i didn't like it as much as the first time okay and one thing i found was the extreme noise level was very jarring to me <laughs> which is what it was trying to do when i was younger i could tolerate it as a, as i was older maybe i was in the mind the mood set with the extreme jumping from and then when he was getting the migraines and stuff like this oh god enslavement by obsession enslavement by and that's another theme that was in another movie another movie plutonic flores is on rumble straight i love it uh love it or hate it there's no movie like pi yeah pi is a very good movie i would i say there's no movie like pi i'm pretty sure i've seen movies that are similar to pi but not on that extreme level it was very unique very unique elder god was the hardest movie to find was it this one pi no it's crazy easy to find for me right higgs well it wasn't the most memorable movie but it was uh spm what interest somewhat interesting it was somewhat interesting yeah it was interesting but i had a hard time watching it to tell you the truth i had to watch it in two sittings uh i had to, I had to take a break between them right so i watched it and then took a break for an hour or something and then get, went back to it to watch it um i i personally wouldn't watch this again um uh, i think it's not a movie that i want to see again uh they live i would watch again uh for sure for sure right uh, mr chang i might check it out if look it if you like sort of occultic pattern uh deeper meaning in you know f if you like fractals if you if you like mathematics uh, if you like sort of a critique uh of extremes in society like because it dealt with uh because everything is a pattern everything is cycle that's one of the reasons i love mathematics and i love trigonometry because everything's cyclic right so it's about finding patterns and finding the code to life right so this movie talks tries to deal with both of them from a visual uh auditory sort of artistic point of view presentation right it deals with patterns when it comes to uh looking at the markets and it deals with uh the code in existence when it comes to talking about oh you know fanatic cultists uh, trying to find I'm, I'm not i don't want to give too much spoilers right code uh in all of life right uh so intellectually is 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 very uh very good very good but i would i wouldn't watch it again and on my first viewing i would give i would have given this a nine out of ten nine and a half out of ten right now personally for me uh i I'm gonna wait until people's comments go. I would give it lower. I'll say at the end. Uh, primer, goofy primer is kind of like this movie. Yeah, primer is very good as well. I've seen primer a couple of times, but I haven't seen it for a long time. And that's time travel. Uh, very good movie as well. Uh, classic, classic. Uh, Elder God. Saul was Max's 
tether to sanity until he succumbed to his own obsession uh, the more max went down the rabbit hole the more his social character was reduced goofy i've only seen this once so 10 out of 10 for me nice <laughs> sometimes uh never rewatch movies you've seen in the past that you really liked right for example never watch jaws again yeah because it's pretty bad <laughs> as far as i'm concerned <laughs> straight according to the director the subway scenes in pie were illegally filmed to save eighteen thousand dollars in in uh in fees i guess and they had in nine fees and they had someone serve as lookout to warn if the police showed up ha 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 yeah for sure why wouldn't you right why would you pay the city uh the dues right uh higgs on censor tube i'm having a hard time remembering the plot of the movie what he trying to decode the old testament and that was part of it trying to the, and it wasn't the old testament it was a torah they're trying to find a number in a torah but i'm not going to tell you what that number represents okay i'm not going to tell you what that number represents uh laugh out loud primer indeed great scenario uh senior uh, scenario writing great writing great writing night oh night eighteen dollars eighteen thousand dollars a night oof yeah yeah film that shit on on the on the download right uh joe chicho i interpret the meaning as being that life isn't to solely analyze but to experience i think that that why he finds peace at the end he simply experiences nature without trying to analyze it um possibly possibly joe yeah for me uh, i didn't take I, I didn't look at it from that perspective i lo looked at it from the perspective of obsession uh tr like obsession addiction uh and pattern recognition and pattern that is one of the best quotes i know of that i've heard of in the past is human beings are so good at finding patterns that we find patterns where patterns don't exist right that's how good we are at finding patterns so patterns become of obsession right every gambler knows this or they should know this <laughs> if they don't they're probably still addicted to gambling right but there's patterns and everything and there is there are patterns there are waves you can ride but that doesn't mean necessarily that you can control that wave you can um you can uh you can model that wave where you can predict that wave right you might be able to ride a wave for a short period of time right depending on what the white wave is the time span frequency on it but you cannot control it and you cannot predict it outside of the time frame that you're able to ride that wave for right because it can turn on you it's like psychedelics they can turn on you right let's give it a plutonic first let's give it a number 3.14159265358979323846264433483 and so on i had a student once that he he remembered pi up to 500 or a thousand i can't remember which one numbers at least a couple of hundred right oh god i found the movie absolutely brilliant you found pi absolutely brilliant seriously did you like it no way i would have i would have, I would have thought you hated this movie uh elder god max attacks the right side of his head uh throughout the movie trying to destroy the intuition and art inside of his mind oh snap i never connected that I never connected that the analytical side is here and we know what he did at the end what I didn't take it that far that's great that's right bam 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 Joe Chicho and the three different groups of people who wanted the pattern all wanted it for different ends all wanted it for different ends right uh, Joe did you notice that at the end the answer to the last math question the girl asks 
approaches pi, does it? No, I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it. What? That's the ratio. Nice, nice. Or ratio that approaches pi. So 700, 748 divided by 238. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Goofy. My math teacher in college sees patterns everywhere. He was telling us, uh, telling about the golden ratio. He had the golden ratios, one of the ones they go to, right? And mathematicians, I've known a few in university. Uh, they ain't healthy beings, but <laughs> there's, there's major issues there. Elder God, Max's childhood experience of looking into the sun. Yeah, yeah, that was super cool. It reminds me of uh, I Icarus getting too close to the sun and basically helps Max to surpass human boundaries later on. Oh, very cool, very cool, very cool, very cool. And Joe Shicho, I never understood the part of the film where that slime appears uh, on his computer with the ants right i don't know I, I don't know what the the slime was supposed to represent elder god anybody i don't know i, th I think it was just nature that that's the way but i didn't i didn't go too deep into it like the way elder god and and uh, padre and uh, and joe and uh, people are going into right who talked for a different uh let's see let's see uh strafe on rumble i actually rewatched jaws a few months ago and it really doesn't hold up all that well no i think it's just the premise of a shark killing beach goers that people found so scary not the actual film and i think it's because people keep on going to the uh the beach like when you go to the beach you see waves you're like oh scary but man jaws is bad movie <laughs> bad movie <laughs> Blue Tonic for us, a different, uh, uh, a difference, a difference whether you want to construct a pattern or you want to discover one. But relying on reality or truth, you got to discern true patterns from only appearing so ones. Yeah. Beautiful minds, beautiful mind. Yeah. That was a great movie too regarding patterns, right? That was a beautiful movie. Temporary Priest Studio A24 movies are just different. Nice. I don't know how many of those their movies I've seen. I should look go down the studio. Uh, I do it for anime. Look at the studio. Look look at some of the movies they put out or TV shows, uh, animes, and I watch them. Good movie. So gang, what's your rating on Pi? What are you guys rating it? I give it I give it seven point five out of ten. The first time I saw it, it was nine nine and a half out of ten. Maybe my tolerance for it is depreciate it i love green knight goofy says 10 out of 10 elder god and everyone who finds out about the pattern become corrupted by the power for their own reasons the broker for me was so bad the broker the broker oh the the black lady yeah nasty nasty that one uh so evil so evil right relentless damn not bad higgs what is average i don't know what average is i'm having a hard time remembering the oh good that read that uh strafe I'll, i'd give it i'd give it an 8.5 but it's definitely an acquired taste it's an, it is an acquired taste so I got 7.5. We've got an 8.5. We've got a 10 out of 10. We've got a 9 out of 10 for Elder God. Elder God, I, I would have been willing to bet that you would have given it like 2 out of 10. But 9 out of 10. Awesome, awesome. Real Xenomorph, 8. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Very cool, very cool. So I'm giving it the lowest rating so far. Okay, okay. Nice. Maybe I need to watch it during a time when... Uh, I can handle the noise levels <laughs> kicking in and out, <laughs> right? Joe Chicho, I think it was also trying to talk about always to understand everything logically. Uh, possibly, maybe, because that's the approach he was taking it. It can lead to ins it can lead to insanity, right? One of the, my my favorite uh, documentaries is. Uh, Unlawful knowledge or something. Uh, it's about three mathematicians 
that went down the rabbit hole regarding infinity and they all went crazy one of them killed themselves and another one uh, two of them were insane the song where two killed themselves i am a i am an obsessed character <laughs> cancel electrical appliances <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Ah, Jennifer Love Hewitt. When young Jennifer Love Hewitt or older Jennifer Love Hewitt? <laughs> okay, gang. Let's go to the next movie. Let's go to the next movie. Which one should we go to? Which one should we go to? 